my wife and I uh, were living in a older home in here in downtown Columbia. Uh, it's built in 1930. So it was a gorgeous home. Um, and although it was really pretty, it ended up having some challenges in terms of layout, just being an older home. Things aren't going to be nearly as uh, conducive to, to modern living. Uh, and then when we had our first daughter, which we have one child now, uh, it complicated things just due to the space constraints. So my wife and I are both from a small town here in rural South Carolina and grew up on some land ourselves. So we made the decision that we wanted to kind of get back to our, our roots, if you will, and decided that, okay, we want to purchase some land and we want to end up putting a home on it. So putting a custom home on it. The land we ended up building on, we bought six acres from my brother, and it was part of a 15 acre tract of land that my brother uh, was, was part of my grandfather's estate. So my, my brother brought my, bought my grandfather's house and 15 acres of land, and that's where him and his family live now. So we started looking in, in this area that we're in and quickly realized that land wasn't quite as abundant because it's a growing area as it used to be when we were kids. So we looked at a couple different options. So we, we chatted with a, a small custom home builder on our options uh, and, and ended up working with him to kind of look at a couple of different plans and ultimately it wasn't going to meet our needs for size and our, and our budget. So we were, we were looking at still using him at this point and we ended up, we, we were looking at using him and just building a smaller home. Um, and we were just doing research. I mean, I think as simple as Googling custom home builders, Columbia, South Carolina and Schumacher came up. And my wife and I ended up looking at different floor plans, different floor plan options, and found that we, hey, we, we actually like a lot of these. Let's go in and have a conversation. So we ended up going in and having a conversation with, with Schumacher, and it ended up working out that the house we wanted, you know, the size and the different features we wanted was, was, was going to fit in our budget for what we were looking to do. And, and I'm not sure, I'm, I'm not sure for a fact, but I think it was, it was one of your newest plans. I think we were the first Lexington you folks built. Well, yeah, there's a couple different key things that stood out. One, I mean, I think from, from the, the pure curb appeal uh, perspective, we really liked the way the house looked from the outside. Like before we even got into the house, we'd liked the way the plan looked from the outside. From uh, when we get to the interior, so a lot of the plans look really pretty from the exterior. Um, you guys do a great job with the curb appeal. Um, one thing and it's a personal preference that we just don't like is kind of an open loft area above a living room. To me, it just seems like wasted convective space that you're going to be heating and cooling for no reason. So we liked that the, the Lexington had this really big kitchen, living room, open concept with a vaulted ceiling as opposed to open to the second floor. So we liked uh, that room because that's where we spend almost all of our time. We're not working. And the big thing for us as well was the fact that it had four bedrooms and four bathrooms. So as we grew our family, everyone's got their own, we call it like our hotel experience. Everyone's got their own bathroom and closet as part of their, as part of their bedroom. So my wife and I both work from home. So the flex room was really important as well too. And you know, those were the, and the master on the first floor also stood out or the um, owner's retreat. Right down the street from us where we lived uh, was one of the premier real estate agents here in, in, in the Columbia area that we're at. And he ended up, um, you know, we were friends with him. We were kind of friends with him and stuff too. And then we were asking him, so we had already kind of started playing with the idea, like maybe in a year or two, we're going to sell our house and go build in the country. So we were asking him, hey, 
you know, looking down the road, 24 months, like what are the things we should add to the house that add to the house now that we can get our money back out of later down the road. And then, you know, not even thinking about selling our house for a couple of years. And he called us out of the blue, I think like Christmas Eve or a couple of days before Christmas and was like, Hey, I know you're not trying to sell your house right now, but he's like, would you even entertain an, an offer? Said, no, not at this point. We're not going to do that. He said, well, could, could someone come and look at your house that way when you do list it on the market, they could, they could be, they, they know if they want to buy it or not. And that quickly, I mean, just that's all things do. It evolved into, okay, well, what would you sell it for? And that's kind of, we just accelerated our timeline. My wife is, is super into homes and design just in general. I mean, that's just like her, her passion and her hobby. So we knew going into it pretty well what was important to us um, into the process. And then from my perspective, I wanted the house set up where we, we're always, we're like a work in progress type individual. Like we, you know, we, whenever we buy a house, we've had a couple homes now. It uh, doesn't matter how new or how old it is. We're always doing projects, improving it, adding on um, different features to the house. It's never a set it and forget it type thing. So for me, it was really important to have all the things that I didn't want to do in the house whenever we, <laughs> whenever we built it the first time. So things like windows, extra windows, things like trim, um, hardwood floors throughout the tile, these are not things that I wanted to, I wanted to take on myself and because the land's going to dictate what type of house you build. I mean, I think we were really cognizant of building the right size house and the right type of house on the land that we, that we selected uh, from orientation. I mean, we knew before we had the house plan picked out where the house was going to go and which, what, which direction it was going to face, uh, things like that. And I would tell them to figure out the land first. And then once they have the land or once they have an idea of the land they can purchase or own or um, plan to purchase that they can end up, you know, looking at a builder that's going to be able to, to come in and, and build a house on that. What your utilities, so like pick your land, pick your house plan uh, and like figure out your utilities. Like, are you going to need a well? Are you going to need a septic system? How do you get power in? Like all these things. Um, add up. So, you know, we are, we were fortunate that, you know, we're 700 feet from the road where we're at now, but we actually ended up getting lucky and we were able to get city water. We're the very last house on the city water system in the town we live in. So even though it's, you think, oh, rural, you know, we still got the benefits of, um, of city living from that aspect. And then I ended up knew that I was going to have to pay a little bit more money uh, to have some custom utility work done to have gigabit internet drop in. So Spectrum came out and did a survey and then they ran gigabit service out to the house. So like that was a big important thing for me as well too. Um, and then having in, you know, knowing now going forward, like, you know, especially with Schumacher, everything, we knew once we got the house framed or once we got the framing, um, you know, we have a contract on all this stuff and Schumacher is going to be responsible for um, building the house to the contract. Like the things leading up to it, like the foundation and the unforeseen things, the septic, uh, you know, we had to have over excavated footers. We had to excavate six feet down the entire perimeter of the house. And that cost a decent chunk of money over what we had in the budget. So planning the utility and the foundation budget into it would be a big recommendation to whoever's building a home as well too. And then I would also recommend that, Hey, if you're going to live in this house for a long time, you don't have to do everything day one, like make sure when you're building, you get the things done as part of the building that you don't want to do in the future. You don't want to add windows down the road. You don't want to change flooring down the road. And um, you don't want to change anything structural. You can change light fixtures. Um, you can add on. You can change doors. I mean, you can do all those things, but you don't want to end up having to do the major things if you don't have to.